Hi, uh, welcome back. Uh, I just released uh, the new version 10.3 of my telemetry tool and this will be a, a very short video of, of some of the new features in 10.4. First thing you will notice with this, there will be uh, the new tracks for the ACC British GT DLC, so the track maps for that will be here. You can find them uh, and, and then there's on the track maps there's a new thing with ACC is that they in the old versions there's already with the Formula 1 and uh, the AMS uh, 2 and a PC2 there was also the flags were shown but this is the new thing also with ACC that now you have the sector per sector based uh, yellow flags so it's really, when you're driving so you can get a little bit more warning in advance if there's a yellow flag in some other places on, on the track where you are now but this is a new thing on, on the track map side uh, Maybe the biggest new thing is the uh, math channels and you can actually find them from the tools. There is manage math channels and then we'll open a dialog where you can define the math channels and you can have any number of math, math channels def defined here and then on the telemetry you can have eight different visual, different uh, math uh, channels active at the same time. So the way it works, there's a different video of that, but the way it works, you just choose one of the uh, traces, basic base traces, you add them, and then you can add an operand, let's say put a plus sign, and then we put a sector two time, oh, we didn't do that, we did need to go back here, and then now, and you can see the, the value here, and then you add that, we give it a name, and then you can actually see that there's a new math channel here, and then you can just assign it to a, a one place, and then you just press save, and, but there's a special uh, extra video of that, how, how it works and actually you can find these traces will then be visible here on this uh, user defined channels and you can see the timing here how, how it works uh, that's uh, maybe the thing is to check out the math channel uh, video special video on that uh, other things which I added is the card craft support so that's a preliminary version for supporting card craft a very nice karting game uh, there's some thing missing from the UDB data, but when the, the guys developing that tool that the game will add that then I will also add more uh, wider or bigger support for Cardcraft in my tool. Another thing which is new is on the settings and there's the map and you map, map and colors. You can actually decide here to use the same coloring mode for, uh, for the map for all games. So uh, if you want to have different coloring for different games, then uncheck this, otherwise you will have be able to use the same coloring mode for all the, the track maps in all game modes. Another big thing is the uh, craft colors, and I actually here, added here a thing, because now uh, there's the same color by default for different corners, so front, like a real uh, rear left is a dark blue, but if you don't like that color, you can click here, that you can keep all the colors in sync and you can change the color in one place, let's say, you, and it will change in all other places. So this way, this easy way to sort of for you to set up the uh, color for the different corners, which is quite typical way of uh, sort of uh, visualizing the uh, values of different colors on the different traces. So this is a sort of kind of a thing which makes life a little bit easier. Then you can just save it and be happy with that. And one more thing which is new is the histograms. So you can have actually the red laps. So the active lap, which will be automatically updating the data. So you can have the different data from the, as a histogram, for example, there's a suspension position and you can just start looking at how it evolves over time as you drive. And one little th extra thing that I added is on the race timing. You can see that there's the best lap and last lap time and the lap time, they are now actually lap times and not just seconds. There used to be a second, which wasn't maybe the easiest way to look at the data, but now they are lap times and so that might be make it a little bit easier. But I think these are the sort of key new things on the new version. So, so yeah, just download the new version and enjoy it and I hope you get faster. Thanks, bye.